What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I'm super excited. I just received my server that I ordered last month from Dell. Uh, I basically ordered a T140 uh, Dell server. It's a desktop server. It pretty much looks just like a desktop computer, but it has a you know, server processor in it as well as you know a whole bunch of RAM I just wanted to show you guys it right fast it just came in I just unboxed it and everything I should have you know recorded myself unboxing it but it's all good but I went on and installed uh, 64 gigabytes of memory when I purchased it it only came with 16 so I, I purchased uh, three more uh, RAM sticks you know it's kind of cheaper to get them outside of Dell, Dell kind of, you know, ups the price on it and they force you to buy one of them. So I just went out and got a 16 from them. Uh, it's DDR4 RAM, so it's super fast, as well as the processor. The processor is a Xeon processor. I only got one, one processor in it, which is cool. That's all I need. I don't do much, you know, with my servers and I just want to save the money or whatever. Uh, by not by only one running one processor and it can handle everything I'm gonna throw at it Which is pretty much a bunch of VMs uh, so uh, It's already open. Let me go ahead on it and, uh, and show you guys the actual server right fast. Let me switch this thing around All right, cool. So this is the server. It's kind of small and the only reason I got it on the side is so I can open it up show you guys what's in it right fast, but it's pretty much it it came with a one terabyte hard drive and what i did was i purchased another one what i'm gonna do is run Pro proxmox on it and i'm gonna i bought another one and i installed that one and so that way i could run a, a raid you know with those two drives one terabyte drives for the operating system and then that's my ram i put in there it came with one i think this is the one that it came with and then I put these three in here and they're all 16 gigs. So for a total of uh, 64 gigabytes. And then, like I said, that's the Xeon processor. And just to get the specs right fast, I wanna make sure you guys uh, know exactly what it is. But it is the Xeon E2226 G, uh, it's 3.4 gigahertz, uh, 12 megabytes uh, cache. And that's pretty much it on it. Like I said, it's just like a regular desktop, but it has a server grade processor in it, which is super cool. I kind of customized this thing, made it look how I wanted to look or put what I wanted in it. And so they had to, you know, custom build it and all that good stuff. So it took a while for it to come in, but that's basically what it looks like from the front. Just show you guys, it's super short. You know what I'm saying? Most of the servers I done had in the past, they've been, you know, about this height or taller. Uh, but they, you know, shrunk it down using that small motherboard. So, and uh, packing everything into that small space. So, super cool. Uh, I'm excited. Can't wait to have this thing uh, set up and, and running. So, so, I appreciate you guys checking it out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my, this will help me do a lot more of the videos that I want to do, uh, especially showing, you know, uh, all the different operating systems in virtual machines. So, uh, super dope system. I can't wait to get it set up and I'll let you know, guys know how it's going. So before I let you guys go, I just wanted to talk about the importance of having a home lab. Now, if you're trying to get into the IT field, it's great to have a home lab. You can set this up using any type of computer device that you have at the house. You can start off with a Raspberry Pi if you need to, and you can work your way up from there. You can install different things like PFSense to set up your own enterprise style router, um, you know, and you can take an old desktop that you have and convert it over to a server and you can run multiple virtual machines on it just depending on how much hardware you have on the system but it's very important to have a lab you can create your own lab environment at the house you can set up windows servers you can set up uh pretty much anything you want linux servers and all that stuff that way you can test your skills as well as you know if you're trying to get into the cyber security field then they do have 
a way to install Kali Linux to, you know, run tests. You can download virtual machines and install them on there uh, within like virtual box and play hack the box or, you know, any of those types of uh, virtual machines that you can get and then put it in a virtual machine and then uh, try to hack on it yourself at the house but just a couple ways how having a home lab has helped me i've been able to kind of replicate what i'm using at work at the house that way if an issue comes up that we can't solve while we're at work uh sometimes i take my work home with me and i'll try it out on my and not physically taking any data or anything but take my work home like try to reproduce that same issue at the house on my own virtual virtual environment to see if i can come up with a solution to actually fix whatever problem that i'm working on at work so it's very beneficial and then also when you recycling old computers you know that reduces the e-waste so that's that's one cool thing about it. instead of throwing that old pc out you know in the trash or whatever uh then you can recycle it by installing some form of uh, linux on it or whatever you know on that actual computer and it can be repurposed for something else now i hope you guys enjoyed the video this was a quick kind of video uh and i just wanted to talk about this so you guys can think about possibly setting up your home your own home lab because it's very beneficial to set something up like this at the house especially if you're trying to get into the it field or you currently work in the field as well so hope you guys have a good day and keep it techie